Mr. Um, Pierso. Um, Attention, Mr. Pierso. Oh, what? Huh? For drunk and disorderly conduct, causing a disturbance and disturbing the peace, I hereby sentence you to community service. Ah, crap. Here we are in Bastok at the low level of 10 on Paladin slash Warrior. And events at a certain pub in town were grossly over exaggerated, but unfortunately, if we want to keep our newly acquired Paladin license and still stay in good standing, we got to do a little bit of community service to make up for what happened. So we're going to do a few quests in this episode. And I think the quest that we're going to start with is the Beauty and the Galka quest. Which we should be able to finish quite quickly with some of the items we've collected. Let's see if this guy will even talk to us. Oh, here we go. Hmm, what's a rookie like you doing in here? I'm not a rookie. Hey! Oh no, not you again. Parago's already given you three out of the four you asked for. Why aren't you giving him his reward? As I've said, business is business. Nothing personal. There's only one of these, and I can't give it to him unless he brings me the four he promised me. If you want to help him, go and bring me the last one. I told you I can't. Hey, haven't I seen you somewhere? Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. At least that's what I tell myself. I remember now, you're the adventurer. Can I ask you a favor? Can you go get me a chunk of zinc ore? I've heard that monsters in Gusterberg drop them. Uh, yeah, totally. Thanks. Caleb, this person will bring you the last one, okay? All right, that's fine by me. I don't know why anyone would bother helping a Galka, but it's your life. Thanks, I'll see you. Dude, that was kind of racist. Now, we don't, I don't think we really need to bother going to get a zinc ore because we should already have some in our mod case. Look at that, we totally do. So we can just go ahead and hand this in. Call her good. This is like one of the beginner quests, so pretty easy. Hey, a chunk of zinc ore. I can't believe you'd do this for a guy like Perigo. More people like you and Cornelia and I'd be out of business. Here, take these Pavoro Mines logs to Perigo. They're the reward he asked for. You know where he lives, right? It's the first house you see when you go down to the lower level of the Mines District. Well, after we go visit Perigo and give him these logs, that'll be one out of the way. Instead of walking like a chump, let's go ahead and teleport. So, all jokes aside, the plan after this episode, now that we have Paladin unlocked, is I'm going to level up Paladin a bit off camera, just to get it caught up to about where our warrior was, maybe a little further ahead. And when we get caught up, we're going to jump back into some more story, start on the, uh, the rank 3 to rank 4 missions for Bastok. Oh, here we go. Ran right by his place. There he is. Hmm? Yes, I am Perigo. What? Cornelia asked you, and you brought me the Palboro Mines logs? Thank you. I really needed these. It may not be much of a reward, but I want you to have this. If you see Cornelia, send her my gratitude. No, wait. Instead, tell her she should not be seen around us Galka too much. For her own sake. Cool. We got a bronze knife. I will slay all the baddies with the bronze knife. What bronze knife? There's no bronze knife. Cool. Well, we got one quest out of the way. And there we go. Beauty and the Galka. It's in our completed quest log. 
So our next quest is going to take us to the Bastok Metalworks. We're going to do a quest called Smoke on the Mountain. That one should be pretty easy, too. We'll actually have to leave town for that one. Oh, and it looks like we never actually registered this home point. Now we have it. Off to the Metalworks. Ah, the Metalworks. Usually we're here for official mission business, and now we're... Just running some run-of-the-mill errands. That's okay, though. Alright, so we need to go to G9 and speak with Hungry Wolf. I'm assuming they're in here? Ah, the eatery. There he is. The food here isn't bad, but a little more variety wouldn't hurt. You know what I mean? My friend Ofa has been telling me that Galkin sausages are exquisite. I wish I could have some someday. He told me that there was an easy but dangerous way of making them, but hey, speaking of Ofa, he hasn't been coming to work lately. Lazy buck. Hmm, he's probably loafing around in his house in the mar markets district again. Okay, well that's a hint, so let's go talk to Ofa to learn how to make the sausage. Apparently talking to Ofa is optional, so I think we're just going to go ahead and do what we have to do for the quest. What you need to do is go to a fire pit in South Gustaberg and put a piece of giant sheet meat on the fire pit. And I'm reasonably certain that we have some giant sheet meat. Yeah, right there in our mod case. This is where it, it really pays to hang on to some of these seemingly trash items. It's just because you never know if you're going to need them for a quest. And I mean, if you end up throwing them away, they're pretty easy to obtain anyway. Okay, in order to make the sausage, we have to go to a fire pit in the northeast corner of K10. All right, we can do that. So that's over by the lighthouse. Yeah, it's really good to be recording again. At the time of recording this, I actually just moved. I took a new job and I've moved to a different town. And I just got all my computer equipment and sound equipment and everything set up again. So it's, uh... So it's good to be back on, back online and back doing this. It took a little longer to set up the internet than what I'd hoped. I always record my footage a little bit ahead, just in case I get busy, so I still have episodes that I can release. So at the time of recording this, like this is episode going to be for episode 21 and officially on my channel I just released episode 11 so it'll be a while before this episode by the time this episode actually is viewable to you folks it'll have been a while <laughs> since I recorded I always find there's value in trying to stay ahead of the game just in case you get busy oh someone's out here leveling up that's fun Oh, look at that view. Sound of that wind, the water. Lovely. Can't say enough how much this game still captivates me with its uh, with its atmosphere and the landscape and just all the lore and the history and everything. Okay, so we're looking for a fire pit I think we overshot and it's back this way a little bit so as a paladin we a lot of it's like like I'm obviously using a sword and a shield and we we've skilled up sword and shield a ton on warrior so we're really good for skill ups for a while but where we're lacking in skill ups is we do have some white magic so I can cast protect on myself Enhancing our enhancing magic skills almost non-existent and we've got cure and we've got the banish spell for some damage so we can try to Try to do a little bit of skilling up. I'll try to focus on that too when I'm leveling up paladin as well Okay, I see a goblin over there Might as well I haven't really set up my paladin macros yet. I'll do that when I'm leveling up might as well get this guy gone. Do a little banish spell here. 
I honestly find some of the paladin spells just because you are focused on fighting the monsters and it's a little be a little awkward trying to target someone for a heal spell with a macro when you're engaging a monster sometimes i do find it easier to just go into the spell list and pick what you want and then use the f keys to select who your target is anybody who's played this game before i think will know what i'm talking about okay where's that fire pit see a stone monument, I see another goblin. The instructions say northeast corner, so I think we need to head a little further away. Just up this way. Where is that campfire? Ow! Full disclosure, our full disclosure, our newest addition to our cat family, a kitten that Rita, Rageface, and I rescued, just clawed the shit out of my back, and I have no idea why. Just thought it was important for everyone to know that. Oh wow, a little bit of a goblin camp up here. Let's uh. Let's clean house. I think we'll be okay with just Kupipi. If I end up being wrong, this will be the first sad, pathetic death of this series. Volk pull anyone? Oh, some other cool paladin abilities that we have are the, uh, well, provoke obviously, which is a warrior ability. Our one hour ability is invincible, which makes us immune to all melee attacks for 30 seconds. Not magic attacks though. I, I think ranged attacks are included, but not magic attacks. So if somebody like firebombs you, you'll still take damage. And then we have Holy Circle, which basically increases our chance to intimidate undead, not just for us, but for our party members as well. So if we're ever trundling around in Guskin Mines or something like that, that'll be a handy skill to have. And I can do heals and stuff to help keep aggro. Oh yeah, we got this. And these guys are giving crazy XP. We're at level 11 now. And let's go ahead and take this guy out, just to be safe. Little banish spell, so we can do some skill ups. Oh, look at that, divine magic skills at level three. We're going places. Well, I hope we can still cook this when the fire's out. We'll find out. So we have to wait one whole Earth minute to do this, but let's let's just go ahead and pull this out here. Hopefully this will work. I don't think the instructions said anything about having to come at a certain time. You put a slice of giant sheet meat in the fire. It's still smoking. It'll still cook. Anyone who's gone camping knows that. Man. This game really likes its crotch shots. Holy shit. I'm not doing that intentionally. That last time I did, though. So another thing that I've done off camera, I'm absolutely loving doing this series with you folks. But one thing that's really great about FF11 is having those times, too, where you can just kind of not talk and just play the game and just enjoy, you know, leveling up with some tunes going. Um, I did do some leveling up on Warrior just leveling it up later for sub job and if we decide to play it again i also did some leveling up on dark knight off camera as well i think dark knight is going to be a job like we will see it in the series at some point i'll probably jump on it at some point and show it off but i do think that that'll be one job that i kind of level up on my own just to give me something to do when i'm taking a break from recording but i want to let you guys know and there we go we got the sausage if there are any jobs that you absolutely have your heart 
set on seeing on the video that you'd like me to have a focus on them on camera. Paladin's obviously going to be one of them. Dark Knight, unfortunately, I already made the decision to do that one on my own. Please let me know in the comments. Get a hold of me. Um, if there's a, like I said, if there's a job that you have your heart set on, please let me know so I can uh, make sure to reserve that for video footage and not just playing it on my own time. Hungry, would you like some sausage? Hungry, would you like some sausages? Hey, is that a Galkin sausage? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Let me have it. Here, I'll give you this. Yay! I like money. Oh, and I'd just like to point out that that last quest gave us the title of Hot Dog. So... Yeah, sure. So, yeah, we're uh, slowly getting that rep up and becoming a big deal. Oh, this is the bar. This is the bar where it all happened. There he is. And it, oh, there's that guy, Carmelo. Don't talk to that guy. He's an asshole. We, we were both to blame. Many drinks were had, many mistakes were made that night. What am I to do? Hmm, you want to help me? Good, I was waiting for someone to offer. I have a guest coming in from Juno. Since we've never met before, I thought I should hold something noticeable so he could find me. But I might have chosen something a little too bizarre. I told him I'd bring a shell shield, but I realized later I don't even own a shell shield. Whatever possessed me to tell him that. I'm busy preparing his welcoming feast, so I'd like you to find a shell shield and meet him at the air travel agency in my place. And when you find him, rather, when he finds you, bring him to me. Can you do it? Sure. I live to serve. My guest's name is Everain. He's a young Hume white mage. To work, then. To work. Now, I'm not sure if we hung on to a shell shield or not. We basically just have to go out and kill a bunch of Quadov until it drops. The drop rate on it isn't too high. I might have thought ahead and actually kept one, but maybe not. I don't see one. So I guess we gotta go get one, do it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna try to pull a few at a time here if I can. I really should have gotten the MP refresh effect, but see what we can do here. From looking online, the shell shield drop rate isn't very high, but I figure if we kill a lot of these guys at once, we'll Increase our chances a little bit. Well, nothing yet. At least we're getting some experience and some crystals, though. And if this takes a while, well, that's what editing's for. Oh, hi there. Chase me, please. Well, at least they still aggro. We'll have to head out a little further this way to find more of these guys. Everybody! Alright, it's four on four. Here we go. Hey, yeah! I wanna shoot, baby! Alright, one down... That one's down. At least we're cutting through these guys quick. Come on, shell shield. Yes, we got a shell shield. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Off to... Yes. Don't worry. There's a sewer in heaven for you. We're slowly regaining our rep in Bastok after the other night. I have to admit, I just... I got drunk with power. I got drunk with power. I gotta say, Mr. Pierso got drunk with power and just made an ass of himself. It happens to the best of us. Okay, so I have to go to the air travel agency wearing this shell shield. Hello, this concourse is for arising, arriving passengers. Bartolomeo. Uh, 
Oh, target out. Oh, I selected the wrong target. My bad. That happens. May I help you? A white mage named Everine? No, I'm sorry. I don't think I've seen him. Oh, hi. That's Shell Shield. You must be Mr. Poe Hatton. Yes, I am. Totally Mr. Poe Hatton. I am the drug kingpin of Bastok. No, you've come in his place. Mr. Poe Hatton is in the tavern, you say. He shouldn't have gone through all this trouble for me, you know. I've been to Bastok before. I'm not a dummy. I'll go meet him in the tavern then. Don't worry, I know the way. What a weird guy. That is a guy who tried a little too hard. Hey, I did your dumb errand. Because you totally couldn't walk across the street and do it yourself. Ah, you're back. Thanks to you, I was able to meet Mr. Everain. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. Ah, Spatha. I think we already have like two or three of those, but another quest done. So I've got one more quest that I want to do here. This quest involves meeting a notorious monster who's pretty underrated, but I think he's got a bit of a fan following. Pretty well known to anybody who's played this game. He even makes an appearance in FF14 as well. The Crab, the Myth, the Legend, the Wrath of Bubbly Bernie. Well, well, what do we have here? An adventure, I'd say. Yes, you do have that eager look on your face. Well, since you're here, you might as well do some work for me. A monster took my parcel from the courier who was carrying it. The courier said he was attacked near the lighthouse in South Gustaberg. The adventure I sent before failed to catch it, and the beast won't come out anymore. There must be a way to lure it out. I would have asked Dalzak. He is very informed in such matters, but he's out of town adventuring. What is it with you people in this adventuring business? If you manage to bring it back to me, though, I'll give you a reward. I know that's what you people want. Hey. I, I like to help people. I like rewards too. There's the lighthouse up ahead. I knew from the start of this Let's Play that at some point we had to include Bubbly Bernie in here. FF11 is not complete without the wrath of Bubbly Bernie. It's actually really neat in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. There's, uh, there's a low level, they're called Fates, where you're out on the map and there's like a, a group of monsters or like a giant monster that everybody has to team up on. And they have like a bubbly Bernie one where he's just like, like, like in this, he's a normal sized crab, but they have one where he's like a ginormous crab and like a pond and you just have to go in with a bunch of other adventures and beat the tar out of them. It's a pretty low level one, but it was, it was fun. I remember seeing him. I'm like, oh, hey, it's a nod to FF11. That's neat. We got some goblins around here too. Let's actually just clear these guys out super quick just so we don't have anybody jumping in on our fight. Not that I'm too worried, but... Let's err on the side of caution. Okay, that guy's gone. Grab a temp item just in case. Perfect. Ether plus two, potion plus one. Okay, so now we just gotta find the Leer spot. It'll be a question mark spot right here. All right, folks. I think we're gonna make this a fair fight. We'll do it one-on-one. -on -one. Let's get that lady's steam clock back. This will be one of the most important things we've ever done in this entire series. Fight me, bitch! Alright, here we go. <laughs> Bubbly Bernie in all his magnificence. So again, this is another pretty low-level quest. Not much to it. We can get a few little skill-ups while we're here. Oh yeah, we're doing fine. Not that I had any doubt, but we're doing fine. What kind of monstrous fiend steals a lady's steam clock? Let's 
Stay down. You act up again, I'll be back for you. Cool. So we got the steam clock, and that will be the final quest for this episode. Let's just go hand that in. Oh, uh, hello there. Would you, uh, like a back massage? I'm a massage therapy student at the local campus. Um, I, I think I'll pass. I got, I got shit to do, but, uh, thanks for the, thanks for the offer. No, wait, come back. I swear I won't touch your butt. Yeah, okay. We are leaving. Gotta be careful in the mines district. You meet some real weirdos down here. Good, you got it. Here's your reward. Now get the hell out of my house. Um. Okay, buying stuff. With the deeds done, and Bubbly Bernie slain at the lighthouse, Mr. Pierceau embarked on his journey to master the art of the Paladin. <laughs>